Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 208. Transplant Rejection. What is transplant rejection? Transplant rejection is something that occurs when a transplanted tissue is rejected by the recipient's immune system. And in this process, the immune system will destroy the transplanted tissue. This effect can be lessened with immunosuppressant drugs after the transplant. What are the different types of transplant rejections? The different type of transplant rejection includes hyperacute, acute, chronic, and graft-versus-host disease. Describe the time frame of rejection seen with these different type of rejections. Hyperacute rejection occurs within minutes. Acute rejection happens weeks later. Chronic rejection happens months to years later. And graft-versus-host can have variable time frames. Describe the pathogenesis of hyperacute transplant rejection. Hyperacute transplant rejection is antibody mediated. It's a type 2 hypersensitivity reaction, and this occurs due to the presence of performed anti donor antibodies in the transplant recipient. What are the clinical features observed with hyperacute rejection? In hyperacute rejection, if the tissue is left implanted, it will occlude the graft vessels, and this will cause ischemia and necrosis in that area. Describe the pathogenesis of acute transplant rejection. Acute transplant rejection is cell-mediated due to cytotoxic T lymphocytes reacting against foreign MHCs. This type of rejection can be reversible with immunosuppressants such as cyclosporin and muromonab CD3. What are the clinical features observed with acute transplant rejection? Acute transplant rejection may cause vasculitis of the graft vessels with dense interstitial lymphocytic infiltrate. Describe the pathogenesis of chronic transplant rejection. In chronic transplant rejection, class 1 MHC non-self is perceived by the cytotoxic T lymphocytes as class 1 MHC self presenting a non-self antigen. So because of this mismatch, the cytotoxic T lymphocytes will attack the vessels and start causing damage. What are the clinical features observed with chronic transplant rejection? Chronic transplant rejection is unfortunately irreversible. There is T-cell and antibody-mediated vascular damage that occurs, which leads to obliterative vascular fibrosis. Chronic transplant rejection can also lead to fibrosis of graft tissue and blood vessels. Describe the pathogenesis of graft-versus-host disease. In graft-versus-host disease, the grafted immunocompetent T-cells will proliferate and they would destroy and reject the host immunocompromised cells. So basically, the grafted T-cells will proliferate and they would think that the host cells are foreign cells and therefore leading to destruction and eventually organ dysfunction. What clinical features are observed with graft-versus-host disease? In graft-versus-host disease, you would see maculopapular rash, jaundice, hepatosplenomegaly, and diarrhea. One additional note about graft-versus-host disease is that this normally occurs in bone marrow and liver transplant because these are the organs that are rich in lymphocytes. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.